vote this time? Mm. It's nice to walk from time to time, isn't it? Think of it as something like a hiking trip. Once we're there, we can stay a few days before we return. Sounds good. I haven't walked this road in a long time. Far enough for now. Let's take a break. Since we're out for a walk, we shouldn't stress too much about the destination. <laughs> I've grown old, so I'm not as fit as before. It's a good thing that at least my work down in the fortress was quite the workout. Well, Paima thinks you're doing great. We didn't have to slow down for you at all. Back in the days before the Aquabus lines were built, we often had to hike north with our goods, then catch a boat to the court. Malus and I must have traveled this way hundreds of times. When we were tired, we would lay down for a while on the grass, and when we were hungry, we'd catch a fish or two. The Spina was still on the rise back then. Mr. Callus was generous, and everyone had the chance to strike it rich. So, of course, we all worked really hard. And now, in the blink of an eye... The Aquabus lines have been built, and this road has fallen into disuse. Oh, I know. I was just being a little nostalgic. Then let's stay here a bit longer. Anyone want snacks? Oh, is this another chance to try some of Navia's macarons? Paimon's been dreaming of them. <laughs> yep, I figured you wouldn't say no to a few more. Oh, uh, wait. Let me check if I have all the ingredients. Uh, Malus and Silver used to take care of tasks like this. Uh, okay. The stove's looking good. And as for the ingredients... Seems like we're all out of flour and sugar. The two most important ingredients of all. Oh, would you? Oh, but it would be too much to ask you to go on a trip just for those. We should contribute to making the macaron, too! Don't worry, we cook out in the wild all the time, so she should have some stuff on hand. Oh, that's great. Then I'll leave the ingredient gathering to you. As long as we have some sweet flowers and wheat, I can start the baking. Then I'll go look for some boxes nearby for a makeshift table and chairs. Great, then I'll prep the stove. Let's get to work, everyone! How did it go? Did you find the ingredients? You've all done your part. Just leave the rest to me. Whoa! These macarons look and taste magnificent! Your cooking is as good as ever, Navia. Boss's baking skills have always been famous. Everyone in the Spina knows how exceptionally talented she is. Oh, <laughs> it's just a hobby. There's no need to praise me for it like that. Have you two seriously never considered joining us? You're so close to the boss, and she obviously trusts you with all her heart, so... Oh, I, I see. Is that why you have to always stay on the road? <laughs> you just happened to walk in on our little reunion. It's actually been quite a while since we last spent time together. Adventurers never stay in one place for long. The name of Spina di Rosula would just tie them down. Besides, 
After everything we've been through together, I'm sure our hearts would remain intertwined even if we found ourselves on opposite sides of the world. Even if Paimon was far beyond the horizon, she'd still remember the delicious taste of Navia's macaron. I understand now. Then I am very lucky indeed to have been graced with the chance to meet the two of you. I will endeavor to make the most of this short yet fortuitous encounter, and enjoy every moment we spend together. We've got no wine with us, but let's still toast with water, in celebration of this moment. May your travels go smoothly, may the Spina continue to grow, and may our friendship last until the end of time. All set? Let's move out then. I asked some old acquaintances in town to make Adele's uniform, so we should be able to pick it up right away. there, Ludovine. How's business lately? Ah, the Demoiselle of Spina de Rosula. I must say, your generous patronage is the one thing keeping me from going bankrupt. <laughs> Nonsense. We all know what a talented businesswoman you are. No, oh, and don't forget, she's the boss now. My mistake, my mistake. I just got so used to calling her Demoiselle. Are you here for the uniform? Yep. I forgot to drop by earlier when I was running errands around here. <laughs> I didn't expect Demoiselle to come and pick it up in person. It's just a uniform after all. Any of your folks could have come instead. Navia's always liked to take even small things seriously. Hey, that's not the only reason I'm here. We mostly just needed a walk to clear our heads. There are few things more uplifting than taking the first step on a new journey. <laughs> Boss has got a point. Going on a trip with friends is always better than staying cooped up at home. Very well. Please, wait here while I retrieve the uniform for you. Uh, can someone remind Paimon again why Adele wants to join the Spina? <laughs> She hasn't given me any concrete reasons. All she says is that she really looks up to me. After we cleared her father's name, she became a lot more cheerful and outgoing. It's probably because she now knows for sure that her father was never a bad person. She said she used to be terrified of Papa, so as a result, she found all the rest of the Spina super scary as well. But the Spina is very different now. She mustered up the courage to talk to me, and felt like I could really understand her. Yeah, you could say that. By uncovering the truth about the case, I was able to give her closure at the same time. She said that she wanted to become someone like me. Someone who could lend a hand to others, instead of standing still and waiting for others to help her. From the sound of it, she'll be a wonderful addition to the Spina. I think so too. But for now, Let's focus on giving her a great atmosphere to grow and thrive. She can commit to us once she's older, and can really make that decision for herself. Is something up, Traveler? Huh? Tailing? Oh, Paimon's coming! Mm. I'll go check it out, too. Coulter, please hold on to this for me. All right. I'm on Southern too. They hit it up. Stop right there. We knew you were going to be difficult! Seems like if we want them to talk, we're gonna need to teach them a lesson first. Brothers, there's no need to skulk in the dark anymore. Let's take them out! Ha -ha! My apologies! 
apologies. Watch out! Now, talk. Who are you? And why were you tailing us? Don't think we'll let you off easy if you keep silent. <sighs> How did it go, boss? Are any of you hurt? <laughs> if you thought they stood any chance against us, you were sorely mistaken. Anyway, stop playing tough and start talking. There won't be any room for negotiation once the Maison Guardianage gets involved. We... were looking to get vengeance on Spina di Rasula. We were discovered and can't beat you in a fight. We admit it. We lost. Get revenge? Wait, you're not Romeu's followers, are you? You actually know that name? But if you do, then surely you should understand why we hate you so much! Indeed. You haven't got the faintest hope of winning right now. <sighs> we were out drinking when we saw Navia. We got so angry we decided to follow you guys, and look for an opportunity to really mess up your day. Too bad you guys messed up ours first. Huh? You're pretty sharp, but so what? We didn't do anything. And now it should be pretty obvious that we can't do anything to you anyway. Seeing you like that just really ticked us off. And we let the drink go to our heads. Listen, Callus is long dead. No matter what happened in the past, I want to be able to start things anew. I am the current president of Spina di Rosula. If your boss wants to talk with me, I'd be happy to meet with him. I won't press charges for your attack. That should also help demonstrate my sincerity. I understand. Thank you. I'll let our boss know. But if you so much as think about pulling something like this again, I won't be so lenient next time. Understood? All right. We get it. Come on, let's go. Are you sure it's okay to just let them go like that, Navia? I don't want to inherit my father's grudges, too. And moreover, when it comes to the Aquabus, I don't think what my father did was entirely correct, either. If the other side is willing to talk, I'm happy to open the door for a reconciliation. Opportunities for new beginnings are all around us. I support Boss's decision as well. The concept of an eye for an eye is a primitive practice that has no place in today's Spina di Rosula. Yes. Plus, we already know that they're strapped for cash. If their financial situation is that dire, they don't have what it takes to challenge us. So this may be the best time to talk. I still think we should keep an eye out for Romeo's folks, though. If he decides to ignore the warning I gave his men, then we could still have a fight on our hands. Yeah, those guys definitely didn't look like big fans of yours. I'd rather things not go that far, since... Though we haven't talked to each other for years, once upon a time we were all a part of the Spina di Rosula family. Yep, that's how I feel as well. Anyway, now that we sent them packing, we don't have to worry about those guys anymore. It's getting late already. So why don't we stay the night in the Fleuve Sandra? We can head back to Poisson tomorrow. I'll also ask someone to write Florent a letter and inform him of everything that happened here today, so he can increase security around Poisson and be on guard against any suspicious individuals. Do we have to stay in the Fleuve Sandra again? Even the pillows there smell like seaweed. <laughs> Sorry, that's just what happens when you live near water and don't get much sunlight. Poisson's pretty much the same, though, so I've long since gotten used to it. 
We can still go out in the evening for some grilled fish and drink so. Bet you there'll be people singing sea shanties too. How does that sound? Huh. That does sound pretty cool. Okay, Paimon's on board now. Let's go! Paimon wants to sing too! luxurious building like the Palais Marmonia. <laughs> totally. Right on the money, Paimon. Although, of course, with the continued growth of the Spina, Papa wanted Poisson to eventually grow into a metropolis, not unlike the court. He was a very ambitious man, who rarely looked behind or beneath him. For better or worse, that always made him stand out from the crowd. And that's also why people hated him just as much as they loved him. All right. Uh, why don't you go wait for me at the restaurant? I'll go do some prep and I'll get someone to tidy up your room while I'm at it. You can use the same room as last time. You still remember the room number, yeah? Yep, yep. Kinda hard to forget when there are only so many rooms here after all. <laughs> oh, did I just hear someone taking a dig at Fleuve Sandra? I'll tell my guys to stuff your pillows full of actual seaweed right now. Oh, Paimon, sorry! Please have mercy, Navia. If you do that, then Paimon really won't be able to sleep at all. <laughs> I was just kidding. Be on your way now. Say what you mean. Hello? Are you asleep yet? Oh, no, not at all. I just figured that since we don't get to enjoy nights like these very often, we should try to enjoy it to the fullest. Want to go fishing? I've got some rods and lures ready. Oh, so that's the prep you were talking about. Sure, we'll come. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't wake you or anything. Don't worry, you don't have to do any actual fishing if you're too tired. Just think of it as keeping me company. How does that sound? Okay, let's go. To the fishing spot! How can you call this fishing when you're using a fully automatic rod? Mm-hmm. What's the problem? Lots of people in Poisson use rods like these. But... But shouldn't fishing be all about... You know, attentively watching the float, and then excitedly reeling in the catch when you finally hook something? Well, that's one way to enjoy fishing. What do you think, Traveler? Then, let's try regular rods next time. We can have a real fishing competition. Honestly, Paimon's mainly shocked at how much energy you still have at this hour. Usually by this time of night, it's a struggle for Paimon to even keep her eyes open. Huh. It might just be something that runs in my family. That's a thing? <laughs> I'm sure you'd get even sleepier if I delved more deeply into it. Anyway, I was just thinking about how grateful I am to my mother as well as the rest of the Spina. My father always had a lot of unrealistic expectations for me. But the more that he tried to get me to become like him, the less I wanted to listen to what he had to say. My mother never had those kinds of expectations, though. I've heard that she had only one wish for me, which was that I would have a happy and secure childhood. All the members of the Spina greatly respected her wish, so no matter what I did as a child, they were happy to humor me. <laughs> K 
Can you imagine? Whenever my father wanted to scold me for something I'd done, everyone would form up into two rows and just stand silently and listen to him rant. Malus and Silver were always there, too. No matter what Papa yelled, nobody else would say a word. Eventually, Papa must have recognized scolding me over trivial matters was pointless, because he eventually stopped getting on my case so often. Hymen would have never guessed. <laughs> yeah, looking back on it now as an adult, I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. When I was young, I often thought that I could do whatever I wanted, because there'd always be someone there to clean up after me. But once, I saw Malus come back wounded. He wouldn't tell me how he'd been injured, but I could tell it had something to do with me. I learned then that there's always a cost to making a mistake. The more you care about those around you, the more you should care about doing the right thing to the best of your abilities. Because if you do falter, there'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the consequences. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you and pay the price for your mistakes. Sorry. Sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. I wasn't planning to talk about sad things tonight. Basically, I was just saying that the nurturing atmosphere of the Spina must have been my mother's legacy, rather than my father's. And if that's the only way that I can continue to feel her love, then I'd like to pass that warmth on. Is that why you let those guys go today? Mm-hmm. Although, maybe there's a part of not wanting to repeat the mistakes of the past. I want to be reasonable, at least. Hey, look! I think you've got something on the line! Uh, but why isn't the rod automatically reeling it in? Oh, there must be something wrong with how I installed the mechanism. It was my first time putting one of those rods together. We can't let it get away. Come on, you two. Let's catch it. Y you want Paimon to help too? Wasting time! The boss ain't gonna wait all day! We'll go ahead with the operation tomorrow. Do with that information as you wish. <laughs> well, your rod was missing a part too, so... I guess that makes it fair. Well, if we're just talking about the number of missing parts, sure. Never mind, Paimon really can't keep her eyes open anymore. <laughs> All right, go to bed. I had a great time today. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Ah, so how was last night? Did you get a good night's sleep? Paimon dreamt that she danced with the sea stars! So you could say it was... stellar. Get it? Huh. <laughs> I didn't know you had such a great sense of humor. See? This guy gets it! <laughs> anyway, let's head out. I'll arrange for a boat to take us back to Poisson. I'm sure Adele will be happy to see you two again. Hyman hopes she'll really appreciate your gift. I hope so too. <laughs>